This is the water slide at the center of the lawsuit, Humunga Kawabunga at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. People plummet down a near vertical five-story drop and they go without a raft or a tube. On Wednesday, a couple filed a lawsuit against Disney, saying the wife suffered severe and permanent bodily injury to her private area after going down the slide in October 2019. The complaint says riders could reach speeds approaching 40 miles an hour, and before they go down the slide, are told to cross their legs at the ankles. In this woman's case, the lawsuit says when she went down the slide, near the end, her body lifted up, she became airborne, and she was slammed downward against the slide, which increased the likelihood of her legs becoming uncrossed. The document says that and her impact into the standing water at the bottom caused a, quote, painful wedgie and immediate bleeding. An ambulance took her to the hospital, and she was eventually taken to another hospital for a specialist. The lawsuit says she suffered damage to her internal organs. Now, she and her husband are suing Disney for over $50,000, accusing the company of negligence, saying Disney failed to provide her and other riders with proper protective clothing and failed to warn them of inherent dangers. The lawsuit says had Disney warned her about the risk, she would not have gone down the slide. In Orlando, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.